Hello, and welcome to my Let's Play of Hearts of Iron 4, and we're going to take Romania. Uh, I'm going to play on Iron Man mode, historical focus is on, uh, regular difficulty, and let's go. So my plan with Romania is to make them uh, communist. So currently they are... 18% uh, fascist, 20% uh, democratic, and 60% unaligned. So our goal is going to be to align these people uh, to be communist, uh, and there's a reason I'm doing that. Uh, basically we want our big buddy next door, uh, Soviet Russia, jeez, uh, sorry, I have to zoom. We want them to uh, to kind of like watch our backs. Uh, we're going to try and gobble up uh, a lot of this area, a lot of this uh, territory, uh, before World War II kicks off proper. We're going to try and steal as much as we can um, from Germany before the war starts. Hopefully we'll at least be able to, you know, get Hungary and uh, Yugoslavia uh, controlled from them. So we'll probably attack uh, into Hungary first uh, because Germany is going to likely uh, get Austria and then uh, Czechoslovakia and then eventually they'll uh, align Hungary to them and either take the, them themselves or uh, they'll be fascist I believe so Germany will protect them. Uh, so we're going to try and get them early and then uh, either pick on Bulgaria or Yugoslavia, probably Yugoslavia. We want to try and get them before uh, Italy uh, gets any ideas and, and decides to take their uh, land. Followed by Greece, Albania, and then we're going to head into Turkey and Iraq and Iran and, and just kind of see where we can go from there, maybe take Afghanistan. And uh, I'm going to try to create my own faction. Um, it's my first time playing uh, Hearts of Iron 4, I have played Hearts of Iron 3. Uh, a fair amount so with the uh, explanation of what I'm going to try and do uh, out of the way we're going to get right into this let's see we have uh, three research slots we already have weapons one that's great I think okay we got uh, some armor unlocked already some artillery lot unlocked. Just looking through uh, some of their starting areas, you know, what, what do they have unlocked in some of their research slots. Some of those doctrines, they do have, uh, they have fighters unlocked but not tactical bombers. No air doctrines. Uh, we're gonna take uh, mechanical uh, engineering first because it gives you a straight 2% bonus to research which will take uh, our our 5% focus to a 7% it's going to help overall research I do like going into production very early as it can uh, really help but I think we're actually going to go with a political effect first and the reason we're going to go with uh, political effects instead of industrial effort, which will give you um, research bonus, is because we want to eventually add a political advisor uh, that will help change the country uh, communist. So we're going to get him as soon as we get 150 uh, political power. Um, so unlocking the political effort will automatically give us 120 political power. Uh, we'll probably already saved up uh, a fair amount by then, 70 days at one per day. So we'll have 190 political power uh, by the time we unlock this. And then we'll probably focus straight into the industrial effort. And then we'll wait uh, on some of these other political uh, focused uh, focuses until we, uh, until we get a little bit more down the tree uh, and into communism. 
So, uh, this is going to take a while, so we're going to get it started right now. And then, recon's good. So, I'm tempted to take that. We are going to be fighting in the mountains a fair bit, so we already have that one unlocked. I don't think we're going to be making any uh, naval landings uh, anytime soon. So I think we're just going to get support weapons one. It's it's a pretty good base bonus to most everything. So that's going to be our starting tech. Uh, it's saying we have insufficient resources. Uh, we need some tungsten. So let's see what we're producing. Steel, steel. There's a tungsten for our artillery. We have uh, two remaining military factories. Uh, we're probably just going to throw them right into there. Our artillery, we have enough, but we are short on infantry equipment. Uh, not by a great deal, though. I don't think we're going to really need tanks to beat some of these guys. I think we can do a lot of it with just infantry, though. Uh, the more tanks you'd have, the faster you could potentially conquer them. But we're going to see what this nets us out at and then uh, kind of take it from there. We do have one remaining dockyard, we're making subs. That's probably good with our current infrastructure. Um, we could switch it out for destroyers or, or convoys, you know. We don't have the best uh, naval research, so we'll probably eventually need to do some of that, but for right now, I think this will be okay. Uh, what is our civilian factories going to do? We have 13. We do need tungsten. Uh, so to help make that other one go faster. Sorry, I'm misclicking. Uh, we do need tungsten. So we can trade with all these different places. Why not start the uh, the good relations with Russia uh, by trading with them? Uh, now you'll notice that one of our construction or one of our factories now is is being used for trade goods um, and now we are no longer well when it refreshes we'll, we will no longer be short here and that will increase our production right now we're slowed because uh, we don't have the proper amount of materials to create it as fast as we possibly could Uh, let's see, the infrastructure is okay. Let's see, do we want to make how many? Seven military factories. I'm trying to think about would I rather have more civilian or military first? I don't think we'll need a bunch of militaries uh, at the beginning, so we are capped out in these areas. I'm going to do one civilian here, and then I'm going to do uh, two more military factories there. So with the remaining factories left, it'll put off, you know, if you have up to 15 into the one, uh, North Transylvania is uh, getting uh, the civilian factory first, and then they'll go on to build uh, the military factories next. You can also build uh, naval bases. We already have a pretty big one here, 8 out of 10. Uh, you can see land forts. We don't actually currently have any, and uh, any coastal forts, which we don't have any of those either. Uh, we do have uh, some good resources, though. We've got a bunch of oil. Uh, and we have some steel, 
some uh, aluminum, aluminum, or as the British would say, aluminium. Uh, once we get, we're going to go at a regular pace here, turn off the day-night cycle because it's kind of irritating to me. Just taking a look at uh, how much supply our areas have. We could start training these guys. What do we have for for general? We have a field marshal already, and we have a general. He's good at fighting in the hills. He's good at uh, combat width and supply consumption. I think we're going to just put him in charge right now of everybody to help reduce uh, supply consumption and we are behind 15,000 units of infantry equipment so we're not actually going to start uh, training guys but we are going to put people over on the hungry border so we're going to say this is your front line. They're going to move into place. And then we're going to draw them an offensive line, which is just going to be up to this area. So we want to take Budapest. How do you track this? I've seen people do this like a million times, but I've never actually done it myself. <laughs> so I'm not really sure how to drag this line, but you can drag uh, that line for your offensive. Political power's going. We're quickly unlocking this focus, which will help us become communist faster. Increase the speed a little bit. Try and get this unlocked. Look at the terrain. It just looks like it's uh, plain, so we're not going to need any really specialized units, uh, like mountaineer units or anything like that, to help invade. Uh, armored units would quickly get in there. Oh, what are we short on? We're also short on steel. Well, let's trade. We need 14. That's a lot of our civilian factories, though. September of 36 is when our first uh, civilian factory should finish. Let's see, what, what resource do you guys have? Probably would help if I clicked that. Ooh. Wow, they have a ton of aluminum. They have a little bit of oil and then some more steel, which will help. I don't think we're going to be fast enough to get to Austria before Germany can snatch them up. So I think we'll take we'll take uh, Hungary first, then we'll take Bulgaria, and then focus on Yugoslavia or potentially Greece. Uh, we don't want them to get invited into uh, the Allies or to have like France um, uh, basically offer to protect them. So, 
So we might take Greece before Yugoslavia. They might be the last of, of this area, and then, of course, tiny little Albania. Do they even have any resources? Yes. Romium. Nice. So Germany is building, or is now able to put their troops in the Rhineland with that focus that they just unlocked. We have tons of political power now, so we're going to uh, get this communist in here. I can't pronounce his name, so I'm not going to try. While workers rise up against their oppressors around the world, those who claim to have achieved class consciousness in Romania sit idly by and wait for change to come from within a political system so thoroughly corrupt only revolution could save us from it. That's right. We're going to pick... Um, I don't think we want to go with a coup. I don't think we need to. So we're going to go with... Uh, try to get the popular movement. Uh, you can see... We already have a little bit of political uh, power. Really. I mean, you can see it's growing slowly. And uh, I know I was just letting the game run. It's okay. Uh, you get to build up 30 days worth of research, so uh, we didn't actually lose anything. We could double dip and go into a mecha mechanical computing to get even more research bonus. Uh, land doctrines are really good. I don't think we're going to go with mobile warfare because I don't think we're going to really have a huge... Um, A huge army. Uh, of tanks. So I think we're just going to go with superior firepower. I don't really... I don't think we're going to be doing a lot of plans. I think we're just going to be at war a lot. <laughs> Breakthrough's nice. So, yeah, let's go... Actually, let's wait on that. We're going to wait until we take uh, probably the army effort. We'll get 50% research bonus for land doctrine. Let's pick this up in the hopes that uh, we'll get some benefit. Uh, but it doesn't look like we'll make it. But we will for the next one. Uh, I want to actually take... take the interwar artillery. Artillery's uh, strong. It's good. I like it. Still short on some resources. It's just the steel. Let's slow it down. Let it run. And we're short with the tanks, so the tanks are going slowly. We're still short 15. We we're short 15,000 here, so this is coming up. I don't have any convoys. Maybe I should switch out these for convoys. Well, maybe we'll let one get finished and then switch over to some convoys, build several of those, because we might, might need those. Our troops are getting a uh, planning bonus. They're entrenched. They're prepared for the attack. Uh, we can't actually attack, so they're going to be prepared for a very, very long time. We don't have a lot of manpower, but that's okay. Try and get through the first few months here to get some more research done. I know I've been talking a lot about what we're going to do and uh, what my thoughts are. So not an action-packed uh, episode by any means, but it's a start. I think we're going to let 
these were researches finished and then uh, pick pick the other ones and probably end the episode there. I would love to be able to get some info on what they have here. But our decryption's too low. We can uh, get get this kind of decryption and see what, what their forces look like by uh, unlocking it through that uh, research tech tree. We can see what their focus is on. Uh. Okay, support weapons are done. Basic machines done. Alright, so we're ahead of time here. We could go. Already, yeah, we already have that. Marines. I think we're gonna go recon. Those are nice. We do already have this light tank uh, researched. I think I think we're gonna go here. Get this, and this is where we get decryption. Uh, we're also gonna take. Do you need to take uh, concentrated industry or dispersed? I think the people that we're gonna be fighting initially are gonna be more. Uh, they're not gonna have a lot of uh, planes, so I'm not really worried about it. I want to just take the, the full bonus, so we're gonna go. Uh, concentrated industry. And with that, uh, I'm going to call it an episode right here. Uh, thank you for watching if you made it to the end. <laughs> and please uh, like and subscribe or leave comments. Uh, this is my first video. I know it was really rough. Uh, I'm going to try to get better. Thanks for watching. Alright, bye.